This program deals with extreme weight loss and should only be attempted if you've tried everything else, are sick of lugging around excess flab, and have consulted a physician. What will reveal your sex appeal? My last 10 pounds is right here. Stomach, hips, thighs. <laughs> My last 10 pounds, it's right here. Hibby is a busy stay-at-home mom and small business owner, hoping to downsize her belly. After 80 pounds and two kids, I deserve to get rid of it. Hoping to slim down before a family vacation. I'm not nearly where I thought I'd be. This busy mom will have to put down the plates of kitty food. This is worse than labor. And pick up the pace with me going full tilt while enrolled in the last 10 pounds boot camp. The question is, will her body hold up? This is my typical morning kids are gone <laughs> routine. This is my breakfast. It's the peanut butter toast that they never ate and the eggles that they didn't finish. I feel like I'm running around all the time. Okay, we're not gonna play water right now. <laughs> trying to start a new business. Just trying to organize my life, like trying to take care of them first. Some mac and cheese and then me, I guess, at the end. It's okay. Jake, you don't have to eat, honey, sweetie. So much easier just to eat the leftovers. Never waste food. I'll finish your stuff. Being pregnant, I gained the 80 pounds. It feels like I still have my baby. I've been trying to lose, I've been stuck. Probably the last year. Martial arts, I love. It's about self-discipline and just trying to be the best you can be. It helps me stay focused as well. I used to belly dance and as a way to make money. Wasn't supposed to have a belly. Now I do. I haven't really put that costume on and felt sexy. It's been hard because I'm trying to do everything. I'm always last and I want to be first. We're going to have our first real big family vacation. I want to look absolutely stunning and sexy and fabulous for it. I'm Tommy Europe, pro football player turned personal trainer. And this is my partner, nutrition coach Nadine Bowman. It's time for Hibby to kick it into high gear. Hibby! Show me your personal oh, training. I am so scared. Hands up. Bust. 38 inches. <sighs> Finger on your belly button. Waist. 37. Oh, no. Hips. 41. 41 inches. What are your thoughts right now? Help. Help? Well, help is on the way. Heavy. 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 Weight, 158 pounds. <laughs> Can you do this for four weeks? Yes. Thank you. I gotta do what it takes, so I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. We'll be focusing on Hibby's big belly as we slim her down 10 pounds before her family vacation. Time to check out Hibby's pantry. I opened it and there was all kinds of kids' food. Processed cheese is the first ingredient. Over 100 calories for one of these puppies. Ice cream cones. Hippie needs to start eating like an adult. These waffle cones have to go. Bottom line, what's this? Dieter's tea. Let's see if the ingredients say eat less and exercise more. Uh, nope. Now for the fridge. We've got a lot of work in here. Peanut butter, not bad for you, but this is not the natural kind. It's full of hydrogenated oils. Ketchup, mayonnaise, condiments add up. They're full of sugar and full of fat. Sausages, these things are loaded with saturated fat. And look at this cheese. I know Hibby likes her cheese, but did you see the size of that thing? It was bigger than my head. She needs to start eating like an adult. Hello, Hibby. Hello, Tommy. I brought you here today to show you what happens when you don't take care of yourself. Take a look. <laughs> That's gaining 10 pounds a year over four years. That would put you over 200 pounds. Now, the reasons for that, not taking care of yourself, 
got a family that you have to take care of, so that keeps you extremely busy. The person who gets left out is you. <laughs> Can't look at that. Eat properly, exercise properly, and you can avoid that. Perfect. Is that Scout's Honor? Scout's Honor. Hibby, you have a family vacation coming up. Yes. And while you're away, the grown-ups are gonna get a night out. So pick something spectacular. Go. I like the dress, but I wanna see more. We can do better than that. That's a little better. Let's see what else you have. Now that's what I'm talking about. Give me a little turn. How do you feel on that dress? A little tight. We gotta lose the overhang here mm -hmm. and here. <laughs> Flatten out that stomach an inch or so off the hips. This dress is an eight. We're gonna get a six. No. Yes. <clears throat> yes. Good answer. Yes. Thanks. No clue yeah. how much stuff uh. I was shoveling yeah. in my body. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Give me the last 10 pounds. Yeah. Hippie entered boot camp desperate to look hot for a big night out on her upcoming vacation. After seeing where she could end up if she doesn't change her bad habits. I don't want to see it, it's really bad. This busy mom is ready for some tough love. For the next four weeks, you gotta lose the overhang hair, <laughs> flatten out that stomach, an inch or so off the hips. Hibby, today's gonna be your drill test. You're gonna show me exactly what you're made of. Faster. He's up. Hibby's performance at the drill no. test. Ten on the spot. Go. She's got a lot of fight in her. Uh, she definitely wants to lose the weight and in inches. Uh, if she hangs in there and does everything that I ask, good things are going to happen. I'm not nearly where I thought I'd be. We got work to do, Hibby. It takes all your breath. Come on, Hibby. Just get from one cone to the other. Cardio needs a lot of work. She comes out of the gate really fast and starts to die out. The worst exercise was the ball. Was my abs are burning. Come on, Hibby. Three more. Her upper body strength needs some work. Ah. I thought she'd be able to do more push-ups than she did. I was speechless. I was saving my breath for what I need. Is it burning yet? I don't swear, but I'm about to. It's worse than labor. I expect uh, good things from Hibby during the next four weeks. Uh, she's got the right mentality for boot camp. The question is, will her body hold up? Get that butt down, butt down. Ease up, come on, Hibby. Okay. Hib. Ten. She's got that little pooch going on that I'm going to try and knock down. Good. Come on, Hib. And just overall, she's soft throughout her body. Come on. Ugh. Three more pulls. One more pull. I thought I was in really good shape. You finish your drill test. But I totally am not. It's done. I'm so glad. So we got four weeks of hard work. Enjoy the rest of your day. I need to be in better shape, because I'm not where I need to be. Oh, my. You are what you eat, and you eat crap. It was absolutely disgusting. H-I-B-B-Y, -B -B do you eat <laughs> off your kids' plates? Hubby does not know what she's eating. She doesn't know her portion sizes. She's eating her own meals plus her kids. That is so gross. We're going to suck it up like you suck up <laughs> the leftover food from your kids' plates. Chicken tortilla wraps. Two of these, more calories and more fat than a double fast food burger. Really? Next, chips. Barely any nutritional value and just 20 chips. That's 210 calories, 57% fat. I'm trying to erase my name. Still you, Hibby. Erase the behavior. Macaroni and cheese. When you're making a whole box, it's going to be about 1,300 calories. Are you? No, are you serious? Ugh. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> no clue how much stuff I was shoveling in my body. Suck it up, Hibby. Suck it up. Go! Suck it up, Hibby! Hibby is eating so much carbohydrates, and these are refined carbohydrates. These are poor food choices. I felt like I was gonna get sick. Let's go! Get those chips! Hibby needs to be smart about reading her labels, because she just doesn't know what she's putting into her body half the time. Are you gonna be vacuuming up your kids' plates anymore? Never again. Well then, it looks like we've cleaned up your bad eating habits. Hibby, here's one day in the life of your new food plan. What do you think? It looks great. Breakfast, something that you need to start eating and not off your kids' plates. Okay. One cup of whole grain cereal, 
two tablespoons of cranberries, and one cup of skim milk. <laughs> a little bit of toast on the side. Hesitation. No toast, just the cereal. Okay, absolutely, yes. Snacking. One apple and one, this is the partially skimmed cheese. Okay. Yeah, and look at the portion size. Here's one ounce of cheese. Now, that's all you should be eating in one serving. A little bit less than what you're used to. <laughs> oh, I know. It's a little bit less, but I could do it. For lunch, prawn stir fry, how good does that look? That looks like a lot of food. One cup of buckwheat noodles and one cup of mixed vegetables. So throw in right now, I've got some mushrooms and peppers, some onions, the prawns, that's giving you the protein. You've got your complex carbs from the noodles and your vegetables, you're good to go. Okay. <laughs> Snacking, you're gonna have a third cup of hummus and then just go crazy on the snap peas. Okay, green vegetables, okay. we can have as many as you want. That's great, I could eat that. You know, Hibby, you may not recognize this, but it's dinner. I know it's not on a, on a kitty plate, and it's a chicken fajita. So you've got three ounces of chicken, you've got salsa in there, you've got one cup of vegetables, a whole wheat flour tortilla. How do I get my kids to eat it? Well, you start by eating it yourself. <laughs> okay, lead by example, Hibby. I'm serious, I'm serious. Set the bar. Okay. okay. As soon as you turn your nose up at it, there's no chance they're gonna eat it. All right, I'm in. Okay. Hello, Hibby. Today, you're gonna be going through your fitness plan. A lot of these exercises are gonna comprise things you're gonna do for the next four weeks. Starting over here. This is a plyometric type exercise. It's explosive. I'll be pushing Hibby really hard, but she definitely has to take the onus on herself to push herself as much as possible. You're working your legs, obviously. You're working your core. I just love the push. Having someone there that's telling you, okay, this is what you need to do, and you gotta do it. Good, keep that back straight. Keep the back straight, bend the legs. He's not letting me stop. He's not letting me quit. And literally, I mean, that's what life's about, right? You just can't quit. On your toes. Hibby carries a lot of her weight through her midsection. As far as you can, pause for a second. Don't sink the back. Walk them back. Four weeks of this, and uh, I don't know if I'll survive. Further. <laughs> now walk them back. Hibby's very good at taking orders. How well she works on her own, that remains to be seen. There you go. That's perfect. There is no option but to win. You want to lose that baby weight, right? Yes, sir. I'm putting in everything to get it done. I mean, they are my leaders, and I'm just, you know what? Give me direction and I'll follow it. You know how to punch, right? Now, you're working your shoulders, you're working your arms, you're working your core. When you hit 20, don't change your feet, but then you're gonna throw rights. Good. There you go. Right now, things are looking good for Hibby. We'll see what happens in a few weeks. Three, two, and one. That's gonna be part of your fitness plan. Get used to that feeling. Good work. It's my life. I gotta do, you know, you gotta be the best you can be. And if it takes Tommy and Nadine to get me there, I'll do it. Let's go, let's go! Three! You gotta let them fight in you! Give me the last 10 pounds! I have a confession to make. I did have a little bit of chocolate. I needed a tree, I needed something to keep me going. Hello, Hibby. Two week weigh in, you ready? Yes. Stand right here. Hands up. Bust, 35 inches. You've lost three inches. All right. Waist, 34. Down another three inches from your waist. All right. Good one. Hips, 40. Down from 41, you've lost one inch. Oh. 35, 34, 40, seven inches. Two weeks. Yeah. Nice work. Thank you. Now get on the scale. Weight, 154 pounds. You've lost four pounds. Congratulations. Thank you. Good work. Thank four you. pounds, seven inches, two weeks. We're not at our goal yet, though. No. Which means we have to work a lot harder for the next two weeks. Okay. You up for it? Yes, I am. Okay. All right, well, let's get you in that little black dress. Okay. I'm a little bit disappointed. I thought that I could do a lot more and be a lot thinner by this time. <laughs> it doesn't fit. Let's see. Oh. 
Probably gonna have to lose at least another inch up top. It was a size six, trying to zip it up. That wasn't good for me. Okay. Okay. I see what we have to do now. <laughs> Hello, Hibby. Welcome to your butt kick. Meet Lorian. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Tell me what you see. Can you explain that? How did you get that? It's not a question you need to worry about. First, over here. Let's go. Okay, go. Go, go, go. Back Down in the squad. Hibby's a tough girl. For her butt kick, I figured, bring her to the place where I get my butt kicked. Come on, we gotta go, get you in that dress, Hibby. So me and Lorian put her through her paces. She didn't know what to expect. All Chest the on the floor. Chest on the floor. I don't think she wants to come back. Okay. Uh, pull it. Uh, you got a little fight in you? I'm gonna puke. Think of that dress. Breathe. No more chocolates. No more cheating. I'm done. Time for the big show. <sighs> I do just take his nook and strangle him, and I don't use the word heat, but it's so close. So close. Come on! Oh, no. Go! Get it up! Come on! That's the hardest thing I've ever done. One, two, three, ten, ten, go! It's exhausting. It was draining mentally and physically. I felt like I was in labor. She pushed herself through it, and that's going to come a long way in her progression. Come on, come on. Nine! That's your butt kick, Him. Hey, Him, next time you think of this, remember us. Have a good day. Hibby can't zip up her Target outfit. She's got a little ways to go, and a chocolate bar is definitely not gonna get her where she needs to be. I had to get that point across, and I'm pretty sure I did. Today is gonna be your final challenge. We've got a bike ride, a 10K bike ride. I didn't think it was gonna be this hard. Give me the last 10 pounds. Hibby is a stay-at-home mom trying to drop her belly flab before a tropical vacation. I've got to get this into this. She was looking good at the two-week weigh-in. Two weeks, seven inches. But couldn't resist some of her kids' candy. I kicked her butt the next day to remind her to stick to the program. Get it up, come on! Today, you're going to go through your final challenge. You've got a bike ride. A 10K bike ride. I have some of your favorite vices. We've got macaroni and cheese. We've got fat. We've got sugar. 10 pounds worth. You're gonna carry it one last time, so you're never at this point again. Turn around, strap in. Yeah. Ugh. I really wanted to push Hibby as hard as I could. I chose this one because I knew it would be pretty difficult for her, um, just with the hills on the bike and just keeping up with me. How you doing, Hib? Getting tired. All that weight, I had no idea I was packing it on like that. It really hits home when he's telling me, okay, I'm a good mom and all that, but I'm not taking care of myself. Well, if you can't take care of yourself, you can't take care of anyone. Come on, him, let's go! I, he's just always in front of me. I'm, I'm trying as hard as I can, and I just can't catch up to him. I just keep thinking I deserve this. To be the best, I have to take care of number one. Stay with me, just stay with me. Keep pushing those legs. Come on, him, work that baby mommy, tell me. Nobody said it was going to be easy. I didn't think it was going to be this hard. I just keep hitting those hills. I think I'm over, and then here comes another one. Come on, Hib. Coming, I'm coming. To get to the end, it was amazing. And then to have Tommy at my side, it felt like having that person in the balcony cheering you on. We need that sometimes, on, just to get through. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. You've completed your final challenge. I didn't think I could do it. And that's what this whole final challenge was about. The whole boot camp experience was about taking care of herself. How do you feel now? 10 pounds lighter. Ten pounds? <laughs> She's starting to turn the corner, and I'm really happy to see that. Hibby, hibby, hibby. Hello. It's the end of the road. Four week weigh in. Yes. OK. Bust. 35 inches. All right. Hibby, yes. you're down. Three inches. Excellent. Waist, 32. You've lost five inches off your waist. All nice right. One. Thank Good you. Work. Feet together. Hips, 39. Down two inches. All right. That's a total of 10 inches you've lost. 35, 32, 39. I like the 30s. Ready for the weight? Yes. So are we. Up you get. Weight, 
100, 50 pounds. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, you lost eight pounds. Thank you. That's great. Eight pounds, 10 inches. I think that's going to help. That may help in the Target outfit, but let's find out. OK. I couldn't believe it. I mean, I hit 150. I mean, that is more than what I thought I'd get to. It was amazing. Whoa. Sexy mama. Hibby. You That's... look hot. Oh, thank you. Feel good in it? It feels fantastic. 10 inches, 8 pounds lost, 4 weeks. Look what you get. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank wow, you. Hibby. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so impressed. You look great. Oh. Hibby followed orders and it paid off. She lost 8 pounds and 10 inches and looks gorgeous in her little black dress. She'll be knocking them out on her tropical vacation. Having done boot camp, I know that there are no limits. It's my life. I can have whatever I want. I can achieve whatever I want. And there's no point to stop, so I'm just going to keep going. I am really proud of myself for doing it.